something. Bienvenidos todos personas. Bienvenidos todos personas. Guten Tag. Esama. Glory to God. Año Aseo. Listen, we say welcome to this International Church of God by Faith. Ten days of prayer and consecration for this 100th General Assembly, Atlanta, Georgia, December the 16th through the 19th. Uh, once again, I am your host, Minister Cornelius Dunmore Stark, Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, under the leadership of none other than presiding bishop, James McKnight, Jr. Uh, we thank God for our district elder and father and the person of Dwayne Ganey, Gainesville District, but we thank God that there's no district greater than another. We thank God that we are members of this body in particular. And so uh, on this third day of 10 days of prayer for this International Church of God by Faith 100th General Assembly, we're fired up, we're crumped, we're lit, we're on 10, and we thank God for it. I said it a minute ago, we're gathered from around the country. This is an international church. Glory to God. And we thank God even for the affiliates. Thank God even for those a part of this church that will join in the playback. Folks all the way over in Monrovia, speaking Mandinka, saying Esama. Folks down in South America. Folks in Haiti. People speaking different languages. How Jesus Cristo estaba puesto todo tiempo. Jesus Christ. He is the answer all the time. Para todo el mundo. For the whole world. And so as as we've gathered on this third day, uh, I want to lift up and say that I'm excited, I'm fired up, because uh, we're joined uh, this morning by a dynamic prayer leader, and I'm talking about Pastor Willie Lightfoot, glory to God, Northwestern New York District. Just before we receive him on this third day of 10 days of prayer for this 100th General Assembly, I should say this, what, is, what are we praying about? What's our prayer focus? We're praying that we would be a unified people. Throughout this International Church of God by Faith, 100th General Assembly, that we would be a unified people. We would have absolute unity. I just want to lift up the word before we receive Pastor Lightfoot. Well, what does the scripture tell us? Uh, glory to God. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter uh, 1 and verse 13 and 14, the scripture says that when they entered the city, they went upstairs to the upper room. Where they were staying, and Peter and John, all the rest of the disciples are mentioned. But when you get down to verse 14, the Bible says, All these with one mind and one purpose were continually devoting themselves to prayer, waiting together along with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. And you go on past that to Acts 2 and 1, and we know it. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. Glory to God. That's what they were. They were unified. Glory to God. Not that you, uh, you, 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 tr you at this ministry and they believe one thing. You travel a uh, hundred miles down the road and they believe something completely different. Uh, this ministry is keeping the ordinances. This ministry is not. These folks believe this. These folks believe that. Glory to God. These folks believe in by, being a by faith partner and investing. These folks don't believe but the, but the Bible says they were all with one accord in one place. And finally, before we receive Pastor Lightfoot, I, I should say this. Jesus himself, I'm not making it up. Jesus himself in John 17 and verse 20 said, he said this, I don't pray for these alone, he said, but for also for all those who will ever believe and trust in me through their message, that they all may be one, just as you are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, so that the world may believe that you sent me. Jesus prayed for unity in John 17. He actually prayed for this church, for this International Church of God by Faith, on this 100th General Assembly. He saw it in his mind's eye in John 17. And so with that, let's receive Pastor Lightfoot, let's join him, and let's raise our voices and cover this 100th General Assembly. Assembly. Let's receive him in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you. Good morning, everyone. We honor our bishop, his wife. We honor our Supreme Council, their wives. We honor my superintendent and his wife. And we honor our host and I honor my wife. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is the confidence that we have in you, that if we ask for anything, hallelujah, according to your will, you hear us. And since we know that you hear us, whatsoever we ask, 
we know that we have the petitions that we desire of you. Holy Spirit, teach us how to agree. Harmonize together. Together make a symphony about anything and everything so that whatever we ask will come to pass and be done for us by our Father in heaven. We pray that as members of this body, the International Church of God by faith, that we live as become us with complete lowliness of mind, humility, and meekness, unselfishness, gentleness, mildness, with patience, bearing with one another, and making allowances because we love one another in the name of Jesus. We are eager, God, and strive earnestly to guard and to keep the harmony and oneness produced by the Spirit in the binding power of peace. We commit in the name of Jesus and according to the power of God at work in us to be of one and of the same mind, united in spirit, sympathizing with one another, loving each other as brethren of one household, compassionate and courteous, tenderhearted and humble-minded. We will never return evil for evil or insult for insult, scolding, tongue-lashing, berating, but on the contrary, Lord, we will bless, hallelujah, we will bless, praying for each other's welfare, happiness, and protection, and truly being compassionate and loving for one another. For we know that to this will we have been called, that we may ourselves inherit a blessing from God, obtain a blessing as heirs, bringing welfare and happiness and protection. Father, hallelujah, thank you that Jesus has given to us the glory and the honor that you gave him, that we may be one, even as you and Jesus are one. Jesus in us and you in Jesus, in order that we may become one and perfectly united, that the world may be known and definitely recognize, hallelujah, that you sent Jesus and that you have loved us even as you have loved Jesus. Father, thy will be done. Hallelujah. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Oh God, we confess our failures to love with you of all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We confess our failures to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. We confess our stubborn, judgmental, critical spirits of our prejudice, our pride, and our sinful ways. Forgive us, Lord, we pray. Our nation is in an uproar, and we are utterly dependent on you. God, for we have already proved we cannot bring peace and unity with words, with protests, with violence, or legislation. Our eyes are on you for answers, God. Hallelujah. And healing. Direct the hearts of the leaders at every level, whether government, community, church, as you direct channels of water. Move their hearts to make godly decisions. Even if they're not godly people, we ask, Lord, to you to cleanse our hearts of anything that's not pleasing to you, especially prejudice and divisive spirits. Help us turn from our old ways of division and injustice and choose righteousness. Bring us to common ground where we can celebrate both our similarities and our differences and help us to love one another as you have loved us. Make the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts, hallelujah, be accepted in your sight. Help us to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with you. Bring justice, temper with mercy, to those who have suffered injustice. More importantly, God, we ask that you give us your heart for others and fill us with a willingness for unity. Fill us with love for those most like us and for those who are least like us. Bring healing to our land. Hallelujah. Bring the peace that passes all understanding. Bless the bishop and the supreme council of the church of God by faith. Every member, every family, every household, young and old, that makes up this great body. Help us to align with the vision of the bishops, to embody the ecclesia. We are the church through you. We are the transformation that the world needs. Unity, Lord, is spelled U-N-I-T-Y. I hear the Spirit saying, hallelujah, you and I together, and the answer is yes. Yes, we can work together. Yes, we can be on one accord. And yes, we will be one in Jesus' name. And God will ever be so careful to give you the glory, to give you all the praise. And in your scriptures, Father, you said, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us to do what Corinthians said. Now, I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing. 
that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. John 17, 20, neither I pray for these alone, but for them also which they shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they all may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Father, we pray these prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Yes, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. The answer to the promises of God, they are yes and amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. We thank God right now for uh, the word of God that has gone forth. Thank God for the word of God flowing out of Pastor Willie Lightfoot. Let me tell you something, glory to God. The word of God, he said it in Isaiah 55, he said, so shall my word be. Which goes forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and prosper in the thing whereto I have sent it. And so I thank God for per- nothing less than prophetic prayer this morning. Glory to God. It's just like the brother said in the song. Glory to God. Y'all know it, that Maverick City. I thank God. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And glory to God. He said, get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. He said, we prophesy. And so the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And so as the word of God, the prophetic word was going forth, his word will not return unto him void. I heard Pastor Willie Lightfoot, I heard him lifting up God's word. What kind of word did I hear from him that went forth that will not return unto him void? The kind of word that he said, he referenced Micah 6 and 8. When he said, he's told you, oh man, what is good? What does the Lord require of you except to be just and to love and and to diligently practice kindness and compassion, to walk humbly with your God, setting aside any overblown sense of importance or self-righteousness. That's in the Amplified. But that's what I heard Pastor Lightfoot lifting up that word. He he went to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and 10 that I beseech you, brethren, that you have the same mind that you not be sectarian, that you not be cliquish, that you not be partial, glory to God. He atoned and lifted up, glory to God, and asked God to forgive uh, those that have been walking around with that divided, sectarian, partial, um, uh, glory to God, mindset, uh, glory to God, you, uh, Democrat and Republican, uh, all of this can't, can't come together, uh, toxic, glory to God. And we look, he lifted up the word of God. The world can't fix it, can't legislate it. Glory to God. You can have all the rallies you want, but unless you change from the inside, nothing will change. Glory to God. And he lifted that up. And then I heard Pastor Lightfoot to reference Jesus himself, as he said in John chapter 17, and that's specifically that verse 21, that they all may be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, so that the world may believe without any doubt that you sent me. The world is looking for a unified people. Glory to God. Are looking for a unified people. The world is looking for it so they can believe the testimony of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. You know, I thank God 
I had an opportunity, and I'll say this, glory to God, I thank God I had an opportunity uh, with a pastor, sit down on a Zoom call with a pastor uh, on my district, not my pastor, but another pastor, sat down on a Zoom call with him as he sat down on Zoom with some young teenagers that gave their lives to the Lord, high schoolers, football players, young men, strong bucks, and we sat there on Zoom and broke bread and talked with them. Oh, Zoom! Boom. Glory to God. And glory to God. And this pastor, he's, he's a mature, glory to God, senior pastor. Glory to God. But I sat down with him, and I thank God because when I'm, at, when I'm helping someone else, I'm helping myself. We can't be sectarian. We can't be partial and divided. Glory to God. It can't be about this district and that. Glory to God. We are members. We are a body of Christ and members in particular. So I thank God for cooperation. I thank God for getting an opportunity to, to uphold and uplift and work with those, even those not right around me. But glory to God, when I'm helping someone else, I'm helping myself. If I'm helping this pastor over here, if I'm helping this brother, I'm helping this deacon, I'm, I'm pouring into this one over here, I'm pouring into myself. I'm building myself up. Glory to God. So we thank God for it. Listen, we say God bless you, precious people. God bless you. Te amamos, todos personas, te amamos, todos personas. We love you, everybody. That's what we're saying. Glory to God in Espanol. And so we encourage you to come back and join us on our fourth day as we come back and bathe this 100th General Assembly, December the 16th through the 19th, Atlanta, Georgia, experiencing the upper room. Glory to God. As we bathe this 100th General Assembly in prayer, prophetic utterance, and in supplication. So join us tomorrow. Let's go forward today, though, and be unified. Let's make it a great day. Let your light shine that men might see the works and give God the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah and glory to God.